ኦፍሳ ስቴፕ ነ ፔናልን ፕራላለል ሹካር ዲቨ መንጋፍት መንገ ነከባከራ ፕሪሞ ዳታ መንጋፍ ያርቶቱ መንደር ሶ ነከባከራ ፔናልቲ ስኮቺ በገርማት ስኮቺ ነ ዘርገህት ዳሜን ተያር ዳስፋት ሲት ዲአል ኤስቲ 50 ያረ ዘይደም ሮማ ኮንግረስ 1971 ኢን ሎንዶን muss lauten dass wir nicht erreicht haben die gründe diese feiernde bilanz sind uns aber bekannt ob das so bleiben wird und was wir unsere jungen hinterlassen hängt nun von uns ab der heutige tag ist entscheidend für unsere zukünftige weg und gerade jetzt müssen wir nicht nur die ohren sondern auch die herzen der hier anwesende treffen ihre augen öffnen damit wir unsere wunderschöne Kultur beibehalten, um nicht in 10 bis 15 Jahren in ganz Europa als fast einheitlich assimiliert zu gelten. Wenn wir uns unsere Jugend anschauen, wird unsere Romanes nicht mehr gesprochen. Man spricht weit verbreitet die Sprache aus der Heimatländer und das sowohl zu Hause als auch in der Straße. Deswegen sollten wir uns zuallererst auf die Sprache konzentrieren. Seit 80er, 90er Jahren haben viele Roma mit der Sprache sich beschäftigt, welche diverse Ausschreibungen für Schule durchgeführt haben. Ich bitte euch, möglich, dass diejenigen unter uns sind, die mit der Sprache zu tun haben, zusammenschließen und sich für eine oder zwei Dialekte entscheiden, welche dann in den Schulen angeboten werden. Die Europäische Union ermöglicht uns das, sogar auch fördert uns. Das sage ich aus Erfahrung, die ich seit über 15 Jahren in Deutschland bzw. bei der Stadt Essen gesammelt habe. Der zweite Punkt ist, bitte an euch, bitte verlangt mit euren Organisationen medizinische Rechte für Roma. Es besteht bilaterale Abkommen mit allen europäischen Ländern. Eine Krankenversicherung in der Europäischen Union zu besitzen, ist ein Menschenrecht. Viele Roma, die zu uns kommen, wissen leider nicht, dass sie ohne Krankenversicherung nicht behandelt werden. Auch bei uns sind die Hürden der Bürokratie leider sehr hoch. So wie in anderen Städten auch. Durch unsere Einsätze haben wir trotz fehlender Krankenversicherungen viele helfen können. Leider die, die es auf Dauer nicht möglich ist, finanziell äh, weiterzumachen. Die Kommunen haben ihre eigene Regel und das respektieren wir auch. Leider gibt es auch in den Kommunen Mitarbeiterinnen und Mitarbeiter, die anders denken. Oft werden unsere Organisationen ausgenutzt für den eigenen Erfolg, zumindest in meiner Zeit äh, als Ehrenamtler bei der Stadt Essen, die ich die Erfahrungen leider machen müsste. Ich denke, dass es das in anderen Kommunen ähnlich zugeht. Mehr als fünf Jahre war ich Ehrenamtlicher für die Stadt Essen tätig. Solange ich Ehrenamtler war, war es alles in Ordnung. Total in Ordnung war das. Kaum hatte ich einen Verein gegründet und habe um Unterstützung gebetet, hat sich der Blatt schlagartig gewendet. Ist das institutionelle Diskriminierung? Die Antwort habe ich bis heute nicht in Erfahrung bringen können. Freunde, lassen wir uns durch nichts ermutigen. Was ich in dem Zusammenhang leider feststellen müsste, war, dass diejenigen, die mir Steine in die Wege gelegt haben, ebenfalls Roma bzw. sind. Vielleicht gibt es ein persönlich, persönliches Problem. Ich könnte es nicht feststellen. Ich kann mir nämlich nicht vorstellen, dass es in einem demokratischen Land institutionelle Diskriminierung gibt. Gegen uns Roma, das herrscht. Was medizinische Versorgung betrifft, leider gibt es äh, sie im gesamten Kosovo nicht. Die medizinische Versorgung dort ist eine Katastrophe für alle Kosovaren. Aber die Roma werden noch einmal schlechter behandelt. Die internationale Organisationen, die im Kosovo seit 2007 vor Ort sind, hätten nicht mal einen Roma-Mitarbeiter. Bis wir 2021 in Kontakt mit ihnen gekommen sind und ein wenig Bewegung diesbezüglich reinbringen könnten, 
Das war aber nur eine Tropfen auf den heißen Stein. Beispielsweise existiert in Kosovo keine Standardkrankenversicherung. Also sterben die Roma-Community dort, weil sie sich die Gesundheitsversorgung nicht leisten kann. Als Dritten müssen wir einen Antrag für die Anerkennung der Roma als Nation von Staatenlosen stellen, damit wir nicht mehr als Ethnie oder Minderheit betrachtet werden. Als Beispiel genießen Roma aus dem Westbalkan keine Freizügigkeit innerhalb, innerhalb der Europäischen Union. Als Staatenlosen hätten sie jedoch auch in Deutschland Asylrecht und Bleiberecht. So liegen die Dinge heute noch nicht. Doch ich sage noch einmal, lassen wir uns nicht entmutigen. Opre Roma, danke fürs Hören. Thank you very much, Mr. Hamid Avdo. Keeping in mind the time, again, because most of you are tired and need to have a rest for tomorrow as well, I will invite the next uh, speaker, uh, uh, Monika Dujdova. She's a Romney from Slovakia. She worked long time in Slovakian schools and helped Roma students. She works at UK schools and helps students from Eastern European countries. Now she works as a regional methodologist for helping and supporting Ukrainian refugees. The floor is yours. Thank you. Please, as short as possible, because we don't have time. Good evening, everyone. So, I will speak. Uh, I will speak in English because my Roma language uh, little bit different than yours. So. Let me introduce myself. My name is Monika Duzdova. I work as a regional methodologist for supporting immigrants from Ukraine in education in Project UNICEF. I do my work at the National Institute of Education and Youth in Preshov, Slovakia. In my work, I meet Ukrainian children and their parents in elementary, elementary schools. We provide support, professional and overcoming trauma, overcome, uh, <laughs> support, professional and psychological counseling, and help in overcoming the language barrier and overcoming trauma and fear. Each of them comes with its own sad story. A story written by war. None of us wanted to believe that the war broke out in Ukraine a year ago, but it happened. In those days, many people from Ukraine came to Slovakia. Ukrainian Roma also fled before the war. With the difference that Roma came from Ukraine to Slovakia on foot, women, children, and old men walked for three days in the cold and rain. Volunteers, organizations, and municipalities were waiting at the border to help immigrants. Everyone who could help these people. Buses took them to hostels, centers, and resorts. Only the Roma were ignored. Roma were kicked out of buses by their own compatriots. Tired, hungry, and cold, They were waiting for someone to take them in and help them. Fortunately, we also have a Roma apostolic charge in Slovakia and many good Roma people and volunteers. Among the first were the pastor from Mikalovce and pastor from Sabino. They took Roma by bus to their centers where they prepared temporary accommodation for them. In Sabino, pastor with volunteers helped more than 800 people, Roma people. The Ukrainian Roma did not want to stay in Slovakia after their first experiences with rejection. They decided to go further west, west to Bohemia, Germany, and Ireland. With the help of good people, the Apostolic Church bought them tickets and flights 
provided them with warm clothes, food, and medicine to, so they could safely reach their relatives in the mentioned countries. I just want to say that it's very sad that people make differences and they choose and decide which life is more valuable, white or black. I am a simple Roma woman. I was born 1968 in Slovakia. I grew up in a small village in eastern Slovakia. My dad was tractor driver in agriculture and my mom took care of, house, uh, of our house and us, eight children. I can, say, I can say I had a happy childhood. I didn't know hunger. I didn't walk hatched, barefoot or dirty. At school, I was included among other non-Roma non students. I didn't know what segregation is. My father had a job and, and we live in our own brick house, not shack. My parents used to tell me, we are Roma, but it doesn't mean we are worse than them. He was also telling me that I must be smart, educated, and good person, that only education can ensure me a decent life and better future. And I really try to be smart and better than my non-Roma classmates, but for them I was just a gypsy girl. A few years have passed since then. Many things have changed. The Velvet Revolution brought the fall of communism, democracy, and freedom, but also unemployment, greater isolation and segregation for the Roma people and Roma children at education. In Slovakia, containerness school and kindergartens are built directly in Roma settlements or in remote places in the village. They want the Roma in settlements to integrate, to get an education, to find a job, to be decent and not throw garbage around their dwellings. Nice imagination. All Roma are employed, they live in nice big houses with their own garden or in apartment building. Yeah. The houses have a bathroom with no hot water and flush toilet. The children have their own children's room, their own bed, wardrobe and computer. And Roma coexist with non-Roma as neighbor, friends, and grill sausage together on weekend. A really nice imagination. But the reality is completely different. Roma in the settlements live in appalling, undignified conditions. They live in huts made of wood, sheets metal, or other material with which can, they can cover the roof so that it doesn't rain on them. They don't have bathroom or flush toilet. They have not hot water. They don't even have tap water. In better cases, it is a well from which relatives and friends draw water. Others have water from streams or from springs flowing in the vicinity of forests and meadows. One room is used for cooking and sleeping. They usually have more children. So sometimes 10 or more people live in one hut, in one room. They don't have sidewalks uh, or roads around the huts. Everywhere you look, there is mud. They don't have waste container, so there is garbage, dirt, and smell everywhere. And to make matter worse, there are rats running around the huts. Education, integration, inclusion, Employment, what do you think can be done? It's a very hard question. I know, <laughs> I know, because the question for us, or otherwise, who among us could do it under such conditions? Do you think I would be hired somewhere if I came to do interview with muddy shoes or in poor, not very clean clothes? If I smelled of smoke and fumes from cooking, does anyone really think I will get a job? And what do you think about the education of our Roma children in settlements? 
Does anyone consider what background they come from? In what conditions they live? Realize someone they are sleep deprived. Care somebody that their mother tongue is different from what they speak and learn at school. And finally, who cares they grow up somewhere kilometers outside the village? That they don't have the opportunity to meet the non-Roma non children, so they go to Roma school, Roma kindergarten. So, do you think our Roma children have the same conditions and chances in education as other children? Does anything about this sad and catastrophic situation in Roma settlements? Where are all those politicians who visit Roma settlements before the elections? Where are our Roma politicians who were elected by Roma people in good faith that we will finally have representation, representation in the parliament? And why are these people suddenly deaf and blind? Okay, let's move on. I didn't mention healthcare. It's another... Yeah, okay. Don't worry. Has five I know. It wouldn't be I know. respectful to the others. Thank you. I didn't mention healthcare. It's another sad no, chapter of the life under a fourth minute and of the Roma in the settlements. I read somewhere that Roma in settlements live an average of 60 to 65 years. Cardiovascular diseases are 2.5 times more common in them than in the rest of population. Many of them have diabetes. Many children live in Roma settlements addicted to smoking, using various chemical substances or alcohol. Many Roma suffer from lung diseases. Asthma and tuberculosis is not uncommon. Now, some facts about the health status of Roma in Slovakia. Roma people live 15 years less than the rest of population. The average age of Roma is 25.6 years. On average, Roma men, men live 55 years and Roma women 59 years. Mortality from cardiovascular diseases is 2.5 times higher among Roma compared to the majority. And at the end, from the Eurobarometer survey, almost 38% of Slovak would feel uncomfortable if they had a Roma neighbor. According to the survey, people fear and hate Roma twice more than homosexual, and four times more than members of other ethnic groups. In Eurobarometer survey, Slovakia ranked third in terms of intolerance of the Roma ethnic group, right behind the Czechs and Italians. I do not mention these facts in order to complain about the sad and undignified situation of the Roma in Slovakia, because that will have no point. I would like us all That's to try to find a common solution to the problems of the Roma in Europe and around the world. Mangavte Bachtaravi Lesa, Sa e Roman, Envio Kola Sona e Roma, Akai Lenko Torkate, Ana Mari Strategia Concepciaci, Tavagico Successi Sa e Roman. Bachtaravi Organizatoren, Tecreto Colencole, Cotorke Cavacci di Nipe. Bachtarame da Dea Grone, Orao Velco Caetazio du Petete and the Croatia, Tecicati, Unia Romaniaci, and Croatia Calisara e Penny Susan Cushman. Amene Roma mora dedica kata aver narodo i strateško politika hem koncepcija tebi avasa ko amaro suksesi ta amaro cilj. Mesem bi andono Kosovo, ano foro Kosovska Mitrovica, kaj džvdi srdem džiko in mira te njašel te njaš te njato beš. Ko foro Kosovska Mitrovica se sa amare aktivistora jek maškare maj zuraljani Kosovo. So se. O sebe posa Kaj se sa školi me Roma, a se sa školi me Vijani Priština, Uroševac, Vitina, Gilan, te vidi se ve foro ralja. Maškare Roma, ani Kosova, sa samen doktora, inženjera, vojne akademistora, 
pravnikora, književnikora, maškarotne medicinače, školasa, električara, automehaničara, tarijaver. Samo von džanen, sude sa sa lenđe pare, te završim kala škole, sa ves se sa sa vo pari pe kret von na kade. Sude druma se sa napadime, katar a ver većinsko narodo. Sigurno sem, kaj amaro problemi Romano, si kaj najmen dosta školovano kadar. Taj so si majbaro problemi, kaj vikola Roma sa ves siljen uči škola, mimo tvodom kaj si Roma. Akana, trajisaravki Francuska, kaj se jemen upravljati de Španžmile Roma, ex Jugoslavia, maškar sa vesi majbut Kosovač. Si jemen amare Romane čave taj čaja, sa vea gori srde, u če škole taj kana, če ne buči, ke bud bare odgovorno do tana. Ali si jemen vi buč čavre taj čaja, kaj a gorin samo i škola so si obavezno. A menki Francuska, si jemen, akana o cilj, Sar te motivisara mare čavren, te agorin so maj uči škola. Se di kake govasi o romano problemi majbaro. A mene romenki Francija si jemen dumo, vi financijski, te nidno stajila menđe kančik. So džanavke a ver pfuva, katar o Balkan, si budbaro problemi, kaj najljen financijsko socijalno te ver dumo. Ko Balkansko pfuva, stanlo vačarene romenđe gađikane institucije. Školu intu mare čavren. Ok, vi me slaži ima go les, ali si ima bud puči ima go pegova pitanje. An sa ostanje si je Roma stambeno. An sa ostanje si je Roma socijalno. An sa ostanje si je Roma društveno. An sa ostanje si je Roma ki je diskriminacija. An sa ostanje si je Roma financijski. Tačka. Maha bintu men. A mene Roma džanaka je si važno i škola kod ju dvipa su suksesi. Romaki sa ti lumja si bi štepanč milijonora. Je ka ver statistika penol kaj si kepina milijonora. A men kala je statistika kaj kaj sam bi štepanč milijonora. Ki Evropa penen kaj sam majbaro nacionalno minoriteti. Kova je ga dževa čarena menč. Te kja si. A kana, a džive, odma, ka vazda maro avazi, dosta saj Roma minoriteti. A mene Roma sam nacija. Ka roda tanko jedinje nacije. Ka roda tanko Evropsko parlamenti. Sa ven narodo korkoro e Roma talo saren. Navon te čo namen če pilen. A mene Roma, ka di kao suksesi, govadive, ka na ka vodi amari problematika, amare Roma, se najgađe. Sa mene Roma, džana je ke kaveresi duk sa dukal. Oven sa ste, upre Roma. Thank you very much. Now we have the next speaker, Felicia De Rosa. She is a Roma activist, educator, and activist living in the U.S. Flora De Rosa, the floor is yours. Hello, friends. Thank you for being here today. My name is Felicia De Rosa, and I am a second-generation American Roma artist and activist living in the United States. And it is my honor to be here with you today. I will do my best to not take up too much of your time. Today I wish to talk to you about building bridges between the Roma of Europe and those of us living in other continents. We are a global nation, one without borders. We carry our industry, artistry, and history everywhere we go. And while our cultural expression may vary from place to place, Together, we are Roma. Together, we are strong. We are living in an uncertain time of great struggle. Much of the world would see us erased from history altogether. And so for many of us, things can feel hopeless. We are angry. 
We are tired. We are afraid. So a decision must be made. Do we give up? Do we allow things to go on as they have for so long? Or do we stand our ground and yell, enough? Bless you. I, for one, plan to fight for myself, for my family. I think many of us here feel the same. But how can we do this? There is something that is missing so far in our movement, an active democracy, a means of uniting our voices and focusing our energy on real change, something more universal and organized than perhaps the old ways of kings, barashera, and self-appointed presidents. By standing together, we can be even stronger. I believe the best way that we can do this is through the adoption of a real democratic process. Such reform can bring about closer working cooperation and ultimately gain us political legitimacy. Together, we can be the sovereign diasporic nation we know ourselves to be. And legitimacy is something we badly need. Every nation aspires to having a democracy so clearly then in order for us to gain a respected political voice, the first order of business is to build our own democratic system. Fortunately, the technology is available to do this, and it is not expensive. A start has been made, as many of you are aware, by the Democratic Transition Team, which has been around for some years now. Already, the DT has created a formidable worldwide network. This is a valuable tool when an emergency arises. When someone in some country uh, where a Rome is murdered or a, a camp is attacked, the Congress could, through its network, reach out to six or 7,000 individuals and organizations within a matter of seconds. We can quickly transfer information and mobilize our people to take action. This is a much needed, very powerful tool for us to have on our journey towards self-emancipation. The long-term hope of this group is to build a voter base of 50, possibly 100,000 Rome, so that credible elections can be conducted for a new kind of political representation. Imagine it, political representation with legitimacy, with a mandate from we, the emerging Roma nation. This system is not quite yet ready, and it may take five or 10 years before any sort of elections could happen. Optimistically, we hope to uh, be fully operational and still growing by the next Congress in 2027 or 28. All that this Congress is asked to do is to take ownership. We must be willing to take a risk on ourselves if we ever hope to take our rightful place on the world sage. In conclusion, I believe that this is a very achievable step and it has an integral role to play in the destiny of the Roman nation, a destiny which here in Berlin right now is in your hands. So I present to you the following resolution. This Congress, aware of the need for improved global uh, uh, communications through a worldwide network and for a democratic transition by way of a global electronic system hereby approves the creation under Congress ownership and control of the Congress Election Commission. Va. Thank you for all of your time. Nice to menge. Thank you very much. Now I would like to invite Mr. Mohamed Zamer Anbar. Thank you very much and good evening to forgotten brother and kindred of India. And I pay sincere and honest thanks to the organizers uh, for this invitation. And I would like not to make any presentation and talk. I want to speak with you people, you know. I want to, I want, I, I want to speak because I want to relate with you. I don't want to take much of your time. I'll try to wind up my, my speak within five to six minutes, so bear with me. As all of you know that, the history of Roma is 
a part of shared history of India. As Roma Indians, Roma and Indians shared the same fate. Roma were displaced by the Sultan Mahmud of Ghazni in 1018 from northern part of India or from the middle valley of Ganges in northern India in 1018. And including, you know, the uh, area like Kannauj, Mathura, and the uh, Rajasthan area. Uh, so, whereas numerous Indians at that point of time, numerous Indian villages and towns were, towns and villages were burned and desolated, and the people were killed as the very painful dislocation of Roma people from India to uh, uh, Balkan or, you know, the Persia, Gajni, uh, like the Jubilistan and uh, uh, Iran, as well as then after, you know, the Balkan and the European, uh, European countries. So uh, I would like to talk about, I don't want to shed light on the history, I want to talk about the first Roma Congress held in 1971 to present Congress 2023. What happened in terms of India-Roma relations? What India did and what happened in India uh, and uh, what the government of India or the, uh, the people of India did for the Roma community? So I would like to speak about that because as you know that the India world is looking to India rise. India is holding the G20 presidency. The world is looking to India for the corporations, for the you know, economic corporations. So now the India is a very important voice for the emancipation of Roma community across the world, not only in Europe. Our friends talk about a lot of discriminations, what is happening, you know better, you know? So uh, as per the European Union Fundamental Rights Agency that talk about 83% 80, people are still lurching below, lurching under the horrible poverty. 83% Roma people, you know? And around 61% Roma people are in material deprivation. So you can better understand what is the situation of Roma community in Europe or anywhere in the world even though the Europe is the richest continent on earth, but the Roma, Roma are the worst, worst victim in, in Europe. So I would like to talk about the why India is important and what the Roma people expect from India. In 1971, the first Congress, then in line with the first Congress, there is a second Congress. Uh, 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 the, the first, uh, you know, the, uh, like the co uh, conference happened in India in 1976, 1976 and 1983, the 2001, and 2008, and 2016, and 2018. These are the conferences uh, took place and organized in India. For what? Because India was not aware of, Indian people are not aware of who the Roma is. You are geographically away from India, but you are culturally, emotionally, very close and intimate to India, you know. So you are away, but your heart resides in India. You, you, so India, now in 2018, India, uh, there was a recommendation by the uh, conference that there should be one memorial, because you have the, one, two minutes, yes. So uh, there was a, there was a uh, you know, the, there, is, there are, you know, the memorials everywhere to uh, commemorate the, uh, you know, like uh, ho Holocaust of Roma community, but, in the world, the first time India is going to construct the memorial to commemorate the painful dislocation and horrible dislocation of the pe uh, Roma people from India to, th to the different part of the world. So the government of India accepted this proposal and very soon the work is going to start in Kannauj, this is a Roma memorial. So that shows that India is a standing in solidarity with the Roma community uh, and India is extending its, its voice uh, even anywhere, you know, in any part, uh, on any international fora or in any, any international forum, whether it's the European Union or whether it's the United, United Nations or ECOSOC or any other organizations, international organization and institutions, India is now very clear. It is a clarion, clarion and clear message from the government of India and the people of the India that India is with Roma in each and every circumstances and India will 
along with Roma, the fight against this such discrimination, such you know the inhuman uh, uh, d uh, prejudices and stereotypes which are attached with the Roma community. So India is with the Roma community, and India, along with together with Roma, fight and combat the discriminations, all these horrible things. Thank you very much, and I'll, I thank you very much. Oven Saster Saren, La Chirat, by La Chodive Pandar, Hariso, Vio presenting Yama, Numaime Sima Kefit, Presentina Mande, Taite Vacara, Moro Vacaribe, Peromani Chip, Suskea Carte, Siam Ketane, Saren Oroma, Messim Eulma Menexe, Kotari Kosova, Sium Sarsicam, Ne Romana Chibiaki, Creatorka e Yecto Biblioteca, Kikola Isiola Pustica Piromanici, Taisim Activistiano Organizatia, Mai Purani Organizatia, Drumisha Slano. Adive Akate Iniso Kedengam Pete Dica o Problemia e Romenge, Mande Isima Godi, Vaste Vacera, Mai But o Successia e Romenge. Kola Isiton Anikosova, Tai Amen Soreslam Giacana, Tekera, Ano Amaro Mareba, Vaste Motava Amaro Hakaya, So Existrina, Viamen, Sa Roma, Anikosova. Akea Isitui Biblioteca, Tai Palo Akava, Kavakara Vini Maipose, Numayakana, Mangava Tekavakara, Vash Odurmi Shaslano. Jangiola ca ea noiecto romano congresi si namen iec manuș cotar o prizren, nusre se arsoi, tai ov si ne o dote vaș te cerol te dot godi de IP vaș o romenge problemia, ov si ne e cuno vi ini albanologi. Aniaverig isito iec organizația dumisa slano, cote isito e pașe pinda star berșa, tai cerela mai but activitatea vaș o temotave ne cultura, ta e tradiția e romengi. Ca na pena e cultura, jana ca e amen si amen but folclorikane sexie. Si amen drame pe romani cip, ano prizren, ko asa, ko a bej, amen, vas da amaro avazo, vas temotava o lenge o problematike, so o velamen ta e si namen mai angle. Ta e pe agorut ni drama e si ne Uchalin, cu a motaugiam o holocausti, ca e sinamen, ca e drama, ca e dili ano iec tan, sa ar muzeu, ca e lelea baro iec pachia vipe, vi avar comunitetien, dar cu te motaugiam o lenge ini amaro mai problemi so e sinamen ano amaro givdipe. Me sa ar si camni, ini so a cana si un pașe trim bej, mai angler, Gianna, ca e amari ministria e Kosovaki, pașe a cate i si amen vi e cotorleut ne Giuzele Shailani, dengiamen pico vaște o volmen facultat imuno romano siclovipe, vaș o cavore tana nakina ni asimilația, tana bistargol e daiachiri cib romani, tai pașe deșu trim berj, Amen sako sama anu prizren, pa še štar škole da romanici, baš sako va čavo ko va si olim angi pete siklo. Me, ka na šerdingu ma kaja buti, ini so i si amen pusti ga kotar o profesor Ilatif Demiri, baš te peklara, baš te diklara mai bute siklon e piri, da ja kiri čip o romane čavore, gen dingu te kreirina Iec biblioteca, coia șai saren telen, ta nu o volmen privat no biblioteca, ta ovo putar di saren enge, na samo e romenge, ta e ketane e romane intelectuale în țar, cola but beșa care de vaș o romano avazo ani prizent buti, ta e romane autore în țar, na samo cotari Kosova, Vi ini avr di zendar biti via e lumia, kote vi o grate en pluxon de njama piri pustik, amen putar gjam jekto biblioteka ani Kosova, kote gjakana isi jek baro interesipe, vi sar o sheruno ministri e Kosovako vizitinga, vi avr avr rashtrake ambasadoria ale te diklaren kaj akeja biblioteka existinela. Na ka aqhavgjola kalea, 
Sisque anigodi si amente bayara te kera mai but pusti kensar buti baş te mothava kai amen si amen echip si amen cultura si amen tradiția tai amen ani miri biblioteca şi te drabar în vitume și o nou epustic și e manușeschi diclomni amen tova diclomne vaș ave generația ke sar sin amen diclomne în o nacle generație tai motav de amenge amaro drom tovol po sigurno tai acana amen si am e generația cu a da mare va mai but te rod amaro hakaia da mare ba mai but vaș te ovolmen amari chip romani jivdi. Da mare ba mai but ta no ovolmen asimilația, ta no ovolmen discriminația. Ini so si amen bare haka ea via ni Kosova, ta e ovelamen nesave strategie samu vaș amaro comuniteti. Vitele para vini anu prizren gengiola sar oficional nu vaș tipe romana chibiaki. Tai doi teme ai Kosovake, amen vastina e chip sar oficialno, a cava motavla ca si amen ketani butikeri pe, vie ministrența, vie șerunea, tai na si amen ne sa o problemi. Ia, acina, o e sa. Ești cum aus Croatien, și va așa, ganță zeit bine și e pe Roma Centa un ale blaiben tetiș, și ea vist file davon, glaube ich, dass ea vaist, was ale blaiben ist. Dadurch, dass wir die Recherchen jahrelang gemacht haben in Kosovo, was alles passiert ist, was, wie viele Menschen deportiert werden und wie viel die Bundesrepublik Deutschland alle zurückgeschickt hat, also war echt alles irgendwie schlimme Zeiten, dann haben wir also Recherche gemacht. Natürlich, wenn wir die Recherche gemacht haben, müssen wir weitermachen, aber was passiert denn dann? Ich muss es jetzt dadurch, dass ich wirklich keine Zeit habe, ich muss diese Geschichte erzählen. Nach dem Zweiten Weltkrieg, was machen die Roma? Viele Roma äh, von Kosovo reisen also weiterhin in restlichen Rest Jugoslawien. Sagen wir es mal so, Bosnien, äh, Kroatien, äh, Makedonien und Slowenien. Aber was passiert jetzt mit Menschen, zum Beispiel, was von Mitrovica gekommen sind? Also ich bin auch alleine von Mitrovica und viele von hier, was wir sehen, die kennen auch, die kennen die Geschichte. Also die sind auch in Kroatien gegangen und ich muss euch mal sagen, in Kroatien gibt es Beispiel nur früher mal, bis zum 60er waren ungefähr fünf bis sechs Mahalas. Weißt ihr, was Mahalas sind? Das sind die Teile, wo nur Roma wohnen. Jetzt in ganzer Zeit, also jetzt in dieses Jahr gibt es nur drei Stück. Also eine ist in Rijeka. Zirkvenica und in Pula. In Pula wird alles jetzt abgebaut, die Menschen müssen die alle Häuser verlassen und ich muss mal sagen, das ist jetzt unsere nächste Recherche, wir müssen also alles jetzt untersuchen, was passiert mit diesen Menschen, was da über, sagen Sie mal, 50, 60 Jahre wohnen. Beispiel in Zirkvenica, in meiner Stadt, wo ich bin, und in Rijeka, ist bekannt, dass fast 90 Prozent aller Bewohner in Mahala haben überhaupt keine äh, Papiere für ihre Häuser. Das heißt, die wohnen da schwarz, die sind alle kroatische Bürger, also dass da Menschen haben da keine Probleme mit Papieren und so, aber die haben Probleme mit Häusern und natürlich mit Integration, was es Schule betrifft und Kinder betrifft. Aber was jetzt das schlimmste Problem ist in, in, in Kroatien, das sind die Häuser. Die Menschen müssen die Häuser verlassen. Also Zirkvenica, meine Stadt, wo ich wohne, ist sind um zwei Häuser äh, kaputt gemacht. Eine ist von meiner Tante und die andere von meinem Cousin. Die mussten äh, Häuser verlassen innerhalb von zwei Stunden. Äh, die Bagger sind gekommen, haben die ganzen Häuser äh, fertig gemacht, also kaputt gemacht. Meine Tante musste irgendwo reinziehen in eine Wohnung, wo sie jetzt bezahlt. Und natürlich haben die ein bisschen... Ja, ein bisschen ein großes Problem, das alles zu finanzieren, weil das hat alles gekostet, kostet immer noch. Kroatien ist ein sehr teures Land. Äh, und was passiert dann? Äh, sagen wir mal, das ist jetzt mal ein andere, ein Thema, aber ja, ich sage es ja nochmal, wir haben keine Zeit. Aber was wir noch irgendwie untersuchen sollten und die Recherche auf jeden Fall machen müssen, ich rede jetzt von 1999, Bombardierung in Kosovo. Menschen verlassen, also gehen überall. Aber was ist mit den Menschen, was jetzt in Ex-Jugoslawien geblieben sind? Ja, ja, ich weiß. 
Äh, es gibt äh, viele in Bosnien, es gibt viele in äh, Makedonien und es gibt viele in Serbien, in Kroatien, wo, sie, wo Menschen überhaupt keine Papiere haben, wo es keine Aufenthaltsrechte haben, weil sie nichts haben. Und das mussten wir halt weitermachen. Ich habe keine Zeit, wir müssen jetzt mal äh, aufhören. Ja? Danke. Leute, danke euch. Für weitere Fragen bin ich da. Danke. Dobar dan svima. Poštovani, poštovane dame i poštovana gospodo, ja sam Živka Fan, dolazim iz Srbije, iz Žablja. Radim kao pedagoški asistent u osnovnoj školi. Inače, sam članica organizacije REU i ekipe i u toj organizaciji sam generalna sekretarka. Za romske porodice koje se svakodnevno bore za egzistenciju, osvarivanje prava na obrazovanje postaje manje važno pitanje. Upravo zato se siromaštvo smatra glavnom preprekom za celokupnu integraciju Roma. Bez struje vode, kupatila i grejanja, život u romskom naselju koji u poput mnogih takvih nema osnovne sanitarne uslove za život, nije obeshrabrilo naše Rome, pogotovo našu decu, da se posvete školovanju i svojim zalaganjem i trudom izađu iz takve sredine. Živeći u okruženju u kakvom žive, znamo da naši Romi ne žele sutra da i njihova deca osete patnju, glad i shvataju da je jedini način za izlazak iz tog začaranog kruga siromaštva obrazovanje. Žive naša deca poprilično teško, i bez struje i bez vode. Znam koliko je teško i nezgodno školovati se u takvim uslovima. U školi se vidi razlika. Treba to nekako prevazići, ne dozvoliti da situacija u kojoj nemate osnovne uslove za život utiče na vaš duh, volju da postanete bolji čovek i ne izgubite samopouzdanje i želju da se borite za sebe. Sve ovo su razlozi zašto je našoj deci dva puta teže na tom putu, jer ranije se zrevaju i moraju da se dokazuju i da brinu i o porodici. Podaci pokazuju poražavajući jaz između romske i većinske populacije u Srbiji kada je reč o obrazovnom sistemu. Jedno od šestero dece i dalje je van sistema osnovnog obrazovanja, Prečkolske ustanove pohađa 17% romske dece, a do završenog visokog nivoa obrazovanja stigne tek 1%. Ovo su rezultati regionalnog istraživanja o položaju Roma na Zapadnom Balkanu, koje je 2017. godine sprovodi program Ujedinjenih nacija za razvoj i Švedska banka. Nekog napretka ipak ima. Došlo je do porasta broja Roma, koji su upisali osnovne škole i trenutno iznosi 84% upisanih. Ipak dok skoro svi pripadnici neromske populacije imaju završenu osnovnu školu, više od jedne trećine neromske populacije, više od jedne trećine naših Roma žive na margini i to su deca od 18 do 21 godine. Romske porodice niko ne sprečava da svoju decu upišu u školu, ali oni nemaju finansijska sredstva. Stoga, iako svako dete ima pravo na obrazovanje, veliki procenat romske dece nema mogućnosti da to svoje pravo i ostvari. U školske klupe deca najčešće ne dolaze sa istim početnim položem, znanjem u odnosu na decu iz većinske populacije. Tome doprinosi nejednako početno znanje, budući da mali broj romske dece pohađa pripremni preškolski program. Problem predstavlja i nedovoljno poznavanje srpskog jezika, kao i nepovoljan socioekonomski položaj porodice iz kojih dolaze. Kako bi pripadnike romske nacionalne manjine postakla na školovanje, Srbije od 2005. godine sistematski sprovodi program afirmativnih mera. 
Povoljnije rangiranje romskih učenika nije na uštrbu učenika većinskog stanovništva, što je zaista zabluda, već se radi o dodatnim mestima ili pogodnostima namenjenim marginalizovanim grupama. Tako je omogućeno da se dece iz osetljivih grupa upišu u osnovnu školu, čak i ako ne posjeduju dokumentaciju i dokaz o prebivalištu roditelja. Međutim, Bez ličnih dokumenta ne mogu da dobiju svedočanstvo da su ikada pohađala školu. Upis u srednje škole uz pomoć afirmativnih akcija podrazumeva se i nakon položenog prijemnog ispita određenom broju romskih učenika do 10-30 bodova kako bi ostvarili prosječan broj bodova na željeni obrazovni profil. Nisam se... Za upis romskih učenika na fakultete predviđeno je oslobađanje plaće na školarine. Problem je što kvota od 1% znači da će neki romi ostati ispod crte, ukoliko konkuriše više nego što je kvotom predviđeno. Osim što afirmativne mere nisu u potpunosti zakonski regulisani, javlja se i mogućnost njihove zloupotrebe. Da bi korisnici afirmativnih mera bili Romi moraju da posjeduju i potvrdu nacionalnog saveta Romske nacionalne manjine kao dokaz svog romskog porekla. Upravo tu nastaje problem budući da je izjašnjavanje o nacionalnoj pripadnosti slobodan izbor. Iako veliki broj romski dece upiše školu, ne završe je svi, jer pojedini umeđu vremenu napuste. Kako do toga ne bi dolazilo, romska deca mora imati podršku i pomoć i razumevanje svojih roditelja, nastavnika i školskih drugova. Istraživanja pokazuju da od 100 romskih učenika tek 66 završi osnovnu školu. Samo njih 25 odluči se da upiše srednju školu, a manje od jednog učenika uspeva da završi višu ili visoku školu. Jedan od razloga za to jeste i što i mnoge romske porodice se bore sa siromaštvom i teškim uslovima života, pa deca napuštaju sistem obrazovanja kako bi doprinosili egzistenciji porodice. Obrazovanje jeste ključ uspeha svakog pojedinca, zajednice i društva u celini. Evo završavam. Ukoliko u društvu imate obrazovne članove, bilo u kojoj zajednici je zagarantovan uspeh, Romska zajednica je jedna od zajednica koja živi najlošiji u Evropskoj uniji. Njihov ukupan broj je oko 12 miliona i takođe Romi i Romkinje su najmlađa nacija i potencijalna radna snaga. Nemam više vremena da nas... Želim samo da kažem da je jako bitno što se tiče školovanja da imate u vidu da treba da podržite svoje sestre, žene, majke, pogotovo čerke, zato što čerke vaše, kada školujete jednu devojčicu, vi školujete celu naciju, a time doprinosite da se očuva vaša kultura, tradicija. Hvala vam puno. Thank you very much.